Sal Valentinetti walked on the America's Got Talent season 11 stage in 2016 and managed to stun the show's audience with his larger-than-life personality and unforgettable vocals. Enough so that the crooner managed to get a golden buzzer from Judge Heidi Klum. Since that fateful day, this ex-pizza deliverer has managed to become one of the most noticeable ex-America's Got Talent contestants. There's something incredibly admirable about the way Sal Valentinetti has managed to stay relevant and thrive in the densely talented landscape of the music industry. So, join us as we take a look at what really happened to Sal Valentinetti from America's Got Talent. The act taking the first spot in the top five is Sal Valentinetti! Born to parents in Long Island, USA, Sal Valentinetti grew up in the small town of Bethpage. Not much is known about the singer's childhood and family, except that his grandmother played a huge part in his musically inclined upbringing. Apparently, the two bonded over their passion for crooner-type music, embodied by the likes of Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, and Tony Bennett. Of course, growing up listening to music and wanting to be a musician are two separate things, a distinction that was very important in South's story. He mentioned in an interview that his grandmother was actually one of his only friends growing up, he never even thought about singing as a career seriously and did not discover that he had a great singing voice until his teens. It took a horn lesson with a prominent private music teacher and performer, Dr. Joseph Merkel, that Sal realized he may have impressive vocal chops after all. His playing musical instruments, such as the baritone horn, tuba, bass trumpet, and trombone, allowed him to have the confidence to ask his teacher if he could perform a song by Bobby Darin. Dr. Joseph heard him sing once and was immediately impressed a sentiment not shared by Sal's mother at all. Growing up singing in the shower is no rare occurrence for a young boy, and it was not so for young Sal or his mother, who apparently did not notice her son's abilities, nor did she care much for them. When Sal's teacher went to her mother to let her get him singing lessons, she disregarded it, assuming it was a money-soliciting scheme. He joked about it in an interview years later, explaining his mother's behavior with a simple, she's from Queens. Of course, eventually, his entire family enthusiastically supported his decision. Growing up, Sal had attended both public and Catholic schools, and was even asked to sing at his principal's spaghetti dinner, a performance that earned him the right to park in the lot for the rest of high school. Other than his grandma, Sal has spoken fondly of his uncle Joe and his advice, words of wisdom that he believes helps him to this day. If there's one thing that makes Sal's journey on the show truly distinguished, is the fact that he used to work as a pizza delivery guy before auditioning for the show. And while there are many contestants who have odd jobs before coming to America's Got Talent, no one quite liked their job as much as Sal seemed to. He explained that at age 17, Sal was delivering pizzas in his Cadillac, an interesting vehicle to use at a job like this. He enjoyed the job, but his uncle got him a gig singing at a restaurant to advance his career, and soon after that his family encouraged him to audition at another talent competition. And so, after realizing that he had singing potential, Sal reasonably decided to audition for another famous talent competition. At the 14th season of American Idol, a singing competition that has pumped out icons with the likes of Carrie Underwood, Kelly Clarkson, and Jordan Sparks, Sal managed to make it through the auditions of the show. Unfortunately, though, he ended up being eliminated and could not make it to the live show portion of the competition. Sal did not let this bring him down and kept looking for other opportunities while improving his vocals. And sure enough, an opportunity was about to knock at his door. On the third episode of the 11th season of America's Got Talent, Sal Valentinetti took to the America's Got Talent stage to sing a beautiful cover of Frank Sinatra's My Way, a performance that famously put his talent in the spotlight. Today, the YouTube video of Sal's audition has over 15 million views. After his rendition, both Howie Mandel and Mel B said yes without hesitation, but Heidi Klum apparently saw something special in Sal and chose to press her golden buzzer ensuring that he gets a direct entry into the quarterfinals of the show, skipping the judge cuts rounds entirely. Over AGT's history, some people have performed songs in genres they don't originally belong to, and that's the risky approach Sal decided to take when he covered One Direction's Story of My Life as a jazz song. Unsurprisingly, his stunt paid off, and he ended up getting a standing ovation for the performance by Simon Cowell, Heidi Klum, and Mel B. In the semi-finals and finals, Sal performed covers of Frank Sinatra's That's Life and Bobby Darin's Mack the Knife, both of which got him standing ovations from judges on the show. He lost around 50 pounds during his time on AGT, not because he had a major health concern, 
but just because he was pre-diabetic and wanted to become a healthy person. And though Sal did not end up winning the competition, he was one of the finalists and placed fifth on the show, and in doing so ended up owing most of his career to the show. For his finale performance, Sal chose to sing December 1963, Oh What a Night with the Jersey Boys, a performance that awarded him enough votes to surpass Tapeface in the competition. Despite his elimination in the finale, this was not the end for Sal Valentinetti, and his time on America's Got Talent, since in the same year he was invited back to America's Got Talent Holiday Spectacular, a two-hour holiday-themed event that aired on December the 19th in 2016 to perform with none other than Heidi Klum herself. The two sang together on stage and performed a festive cover of Santa Baby, which sure felt like a full-circle moment, since she picked him to be her golden buzzer artist that previous season. Sal even said that the two got very close as the weeks went on and that he felt honored that she picked him to duet with. He also elaborated in the same interview that he did not perform at America's Got Talent Vegas show, but did in fact perform in Vegas as an opener for Jane Leno at the Mirage at the Terry Fater Theater in 2017. He also talked about how he did a destination wedding at a Jamaican castle and went to Bangkok, and that he was actually in Vegas a weekend before Thanksgiving, and before that he was in San Diego. Part of what he did after the show was just traveling around a bit and see the world for a moment before starting to work on anything specific. When asked about going back to the pizza delivery business, Sal good-naturedly shut that down, talking about how Howie Mandel joked about the same thing after the show. He also talked about how, after the show, he once did surprise pizza deliveries too, but as more of a PR move than an actual working gig. Since his time on the show, Sal has continued to make incredible strides in his musical career, selling out shows in various places and having performed at locations like Madison Square Garden in NYC, which most aspiring musicians dream of performing at. He sold out the legendary NYCB Theatre at Westbury, a location where Frank Sinatra has performed in the past and has even sold out the Paramount three nights in a row. He also did a show in Jersey at Count Basie Theatre in January. Sal also talked about how he was working with Ron Alexenberg at the time. In 2017, Sal finally released an EP called The Voice that featured covers of songs like The Way You Look Tonight and You Make Me Feel So Young. In a 2018 interview, the singer expressed gratitude towards his support system and said, I still wake up every day and I am thankful that I get to sing for a living. The next year, Sal released a holiday album titled Christmas Presents with an original song When Christmas Comes to Town. The same year, he suffered a minor pneumonia scare in South Florida and passed out. He was transported to Jupiter Medical Center by the Tequesta Fire Department and had to get all four of his wisdom teeth extracted. If that wasn't enough, around the same time, controversy struck as he got into a heated argument with someone who banked into his Cadillac. He returned to America's Got Talent franchise in 2019 again as a competitor on America's Got Talent The Champions, but was unable to make it further than the preliminaries. And in 2021, the singer released a Valentine's Day album called Little Valentine, accompanied by the No Vacancy Orchestra, and the album features 13 of his songs. He also had a tour lined up in 2022. In terms of his personal life, Sal seems to be making strides, as he got happily engaged to his beautiful, longtime girlfriend Gianna Olivia in December 2021, and share snippets of their life together on his social media accounts. In an interview, he maintained that being in a long-term relationship is about keeping things young and fresh. Today, Sal continues to perform shows in front of his loyal audience and shares any noteworthy musical or personal updates on his social media accounts, happy as can be with his place in the music industry.